It's not in the cards for you. <laughs> Dude, man, that's the funniest thing I've ever I've heard. It's, it's not, not in the cards for you. For you. Do, do, do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so pre cremated, pre-made, salted um, chicken with the worm. Okay, if you, for those of you who don't know who Lucas is, he's a infamous YouTuber, and he has rants about how people, you know, shouting empty platitudes like bigots, age folk, and all that. Reacting stuff. to him, uh, we're gonna be reacting to him talking you know cooking this food and i'm a student nutrition operator so i have experience in the food industry and i'm, I'm pretty, pretty good at insults and i got, and I got the internet and a lot of free time that's not good <laughs> hey what is that okay i see cheese and bacon on top of the chicken so this must be pre-made salt farm chicken with the warm Don't eat while watching his his cooking videos. These cooking videos, you're gonna lose your appetite. He's why I'm doing it because I'm glutton for punishment. Only oh, samurai. <laughs> Sit there and put. Why would you put sauce on there while it's cooking? It's gonna come out burnt. I guarantee you. Yep, exactly what would happen. Ladies and gentlemen, never put sauce on while it's cooking. Because look at it now, it's burnt. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Just small. Pretty good, huh? There you go. You can hear the guy in the background saying it looks burnt. It's not done yet. It's mushroom stuffed chicken. Oh, oh, this is something else. It's like, it's like uh, cheese and bacon on top of it. Oh, uh, what's this hiding? Five dollars. Five dollars. No, what's this hiding? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah like, like chicken curl and blues. Like stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Cheese and bacon on top of it. Don't even add all that seasoning and sauce. Like, Dude. Oh, really? No, yeah. it's not helping. Yeah. Alright, that's awkward. Yeah. Okay. Then you burned it. That pan's never gonna be the same again. It's gonna take a while pencil. before you can wash that out. Presentable at all. Well, far away. Yeah. 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 It's 45 minutes. And then, and then five, five minutes in the roller with olive oil. oil. Stop burning food! This dude's over here for real about the birds. Oh my god. Of mushrooms. Lucas, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? Why don't I have a girlfriend? I'll never understand. It's not in the cards for you. I'm pretty good at insults, <laughs> and, and I got the internet and a lot of free time. That's not good. My seasonings and uh, my sauces apparently got stolen by some jig off, and the staff helped me look for this for like two hours off and on, looking for things, and they couldn't find it. So it's like twenty dollars worth of supply gone. Um, a little upset about that, but at least I'll get a lemon piece, lamb chops, and I made a sauce. 
uh, out of ketchup, ketchup and mayonnaise, mayonnaise which is probably, probably going to work out pretty well, like that sriracha mayonnaise. No, so it won't. We'll try that. No, it won't. So there's shades of rice and veggies and everything. have kids. That's really the only reason that keeps me alive. Everything else is just instant dentary. You're, you're not responsible. This looks good. So, I mean, if I was the husband in a relationship, I'd be doing a lot of cooking. And I'm an uncle. So I, I experienced changing diapers like 30 years ago, and it's something you never really forget. Um, you just have to get over the process, you know. But uh, I, I took care of my uh, nieces and nephew a lot when I was younger and helped my mom. So people always ask what I have to offer. Well, good cooking skills, good skills with children. Your cooking skills suck. And usually I'm pretty nice. I do get upset sometimes, but I'm just a human being. I'm never violent. I'm rarely ever loud anymore. It's just something I'm working on because I okay, feel it's more attractive quality to be chill. I'm so glad I'm I'm a little upset that my stuff got jacked. It's like $20 worth of it. Okay, so he's he's making overcooked lamb. He's got overcooked the lamb and he's going to put ketchup and mayo on top of it. Yeah, this is definitely a recipe for disaster. I'm not Holy eating that. The lamb going to be overcooked. But he's going to put ketchup and mayo on top of it, mixed in together. And then he says, I'm, he's going to be a good dad. I'm just glad he didn't also put sriracha mayo on it, but you never know. Anyways. But, no, you would not be a good dad at all. And I and I bet he's I I bet he's watching this right now, and he's gonna be in the comment section screaming, "CJ, you're a bigot! No, you're hypocrites! You're a leftist!" And screaming all these empty platitudes. I'm ready for it, dude. I'm 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 ready for him to scream all these empty platitudes. I'm gonna be sitting there the whole time laughing as I re review the comment section, because I mean. I'm 21. I'm going to be 22 in a few days. I'm I'm doing something with my life. I'm young. I'm doing something with my life. That's the difference between me and him. Cooking videos. I highly recommend you don't eat before. You, eat, you can eat before or after. I don't recommend you eat during. See me, I'm just an idiot. I'm a, I'm a glutton for punishment. That's why I'm doing it. And I really don't care because I, I know how to cook and I know how to bake. So... Stuff he's doing, no. That's not how you cook lamb. Or oh, ketchup or mayonnaise. My goodness, I'm just thankful he didn't just have a bunch of sriracha mayo and just... I've Yes, I've seen him do that. <laughs> it was a live stream of the Geek Room I was watching, and I've seen him just... All the sriracha mayo on. Out there that don't date men under their economic class. And a lot of times you see them when they do, like nurses and stuff, it's always the same clone dudes that are very misogynistic because they don't even invite us to their parties or anything. It's like, oh, a Gen X dude. Well, the Gen X seed with the Gen Z they combined together as the highest telomerase in both things of reproduction. So really the Gen Z dudes are not entitled to the Gen Z women. What am I entitled to? Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I just want to cook and clean and be a good equal partner in a domestic relationship where we have children and get married one day. And obviously I have skills cooking. Your cooking skills suck. It's a labor of love. He he's rambling. He's rambling. He's doing it again. He's just rambling on about stuff that doesn't make sense. Talking about astronauts, you know, jumping to other planets, exploring telomeres. Okay, you know. It's just, my God, bro. That's not what I'm here to do. I'm just here to watch you cook and see how you do. And I and based off the reviews, I uh, I could tell he didn't do a good job at it at all. Based off the, not just based off the title, but yeah, to a certain degree, based off the title. Because... Overcooked lamb with ketchup and mayonnaise, dude. Now he's rambling on about politics, 
left with all that other stuff, you know, stuff that doesn't have anything to do with the video. Toss them, why can't I get a girlfriend? It's not in the cards. It's not in the cards for you. <laughs> um, Generation Z. Z. Uh, uh, because, because they, they give my babies, babies a stronger DNA. DNA. Yeah, there he goes. And, and I study things like, like genetics, genetics and dudes between 35 to 55 and 41. So, so it's, it's a challenge uh, that I'm up to to, to so show you. you. Um, little, little bad me. me. Yeah, well. Well, I, I've, I, I've done a little bit of my... You scared the hell out of me, man! Everything that I do good, I try to do good! <laughs> Who put this in the video? Yeah, leave a, leave a comment. Uh, yeah, you guys leave a comment. It's put in the comment section. I, it's not in the comment for you. Yeah, I know. Dude, why don't you just go for women your own so, age? I'm 41, 41 and, and I, I have, have to charm that, that age group. group. Because you're not, because you're a homeless, study, you're a homeless guy who mind. has no job for the, for the same, same purposes as strong, strong DNA. DNA. And my, and my theory, theory is if we combine those two things, things we'll create the strongest strands of human DNA. DNA. No, you won't. Which that, would be that's the false. smartest, most, most intelligent, intelligent, empathic, empathic kindness. That's just something uh, that you made up in your head. So by combining those two things, I have to figure out a way Maybe from cooking, cooking and showing that, that I'd be a good husband and dad, dad by trying to charm 18, 18 to 21 year old women generation. You mean grooming, which is something that pedophiles do. It's, I'm surprised this dude. I think I'd be a good husband and dad. dad. <clears throat> I know how to cook, I know how to change diapers, and said these and old women generation Z. I'm honestly surprised this dude is not in jail or dead. Yeah. This dude. I think I'd be a good husband and dad. <clears throat> I know how to cook. I know how to change diapers. No, you're cooking still suck. I know how to run a vacuum, run in, a vacuum in, full in full laundering, laundering, laundering clothes. clothes. I'm, I'm in, in biology, biology and I'm trying to earn a PhD. PhD. He, he ain't doing nothing there but talking about telomeres. But in order to do that, I have to charm Generation Z. Uh, because, uh, because they, they give my give babies, babies a stronger DNA. That's and I study, study things, things like genetics, genetics and dudes between 35 and 55 and I'm 41. So it's a challenge. Of course it's a challenge because uh, so you're a homeless guy who has no job. Uh, you have so nothing going for yourself. You just scream bigotry towards anyone um, who disagrees with you or hypocrites. That's all me. you say when someone disagrees with you. <laughs> Bro, oh no, who did that? I know, I know Lucas is watching this right now. He's probably, probably shouting all types of empty platitudes on his Instagram, you know, and talking about how I'm such a bigot and saying all this other stuff. And he's also probably like, you know, you know what? That'd be the funniest thing. That'd be the funniest thing. If he's in my comment section right now and he's like, it's, it's not, not in the cards for you, CJ. Do, do, do. I be, I, I lie. I'm not gonna lie. That that'd be the funniest thing ever. All right, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. This is for part one. Stay tuned for part two for the Warren cooking series. That's what we're gonna call this. It's gonna be the Warren cooking series, and I'm gonna give my verdict on it. You know, maybe I can learn something. Not really. I doubt it. But I'll learn something from this prick, but. Don't forget to like, leave comments, subscribe, do a part, but it, I'll give you a I'll give you a thumbs up if you put in the comment if you type in the comment section. It's not in the cards for you. <laughs> that that is this dude is something else. This dude is truly a class act.